Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the second evening of the three-day Sarod Festival dedicated to the sacred memory of Ma Annapurna Devi, brought to you by the Annapurna Devi Foundation in association with Shamshundar Jewelers. <clears throat> uh, the hall is still quite sparse, and uh, I am confident that in the next few minutes we shall have more of you thronging at least the front part of this beautiful auditorium. <clears throat> A word or two in introduction for those who were not here yesterday. It is a matter of great pleasure, joy, mirth and happiness that we are being able to showcase a concert which is physical in nature. That is, you are physically seeing or watching or listening. We have had one very difficult year and I really do not know what is in store for us in the coming months with the COVID cases rising again. But the difference between <clears throat> last year and now is that we are much better equipped to fight this enemy which is not really unknown uh, as it used to be last year. So God willing, we shall conquer COVID, maintaining the protocol that most of you have been following even in this auditorium. <clears throat> As I said yesterday by many accounts, she would have been the best known Indian classical artist of the 20th century. But this superlative talent chose to move out of the public eye much more than 60 years ago. But before vanishing, Ma Nupurna Devi had earned her way into the musical stratosphere. She followed her legendary father and guru's advice that she has to give away the best of what she was taught by her father to generations of musicians. And that is what she did so well. Pandit Nikhil Banerjee, Ustad Bahadur Khan Sahab, Ustad Ashish Khan, a nephew, Pandit Hari Prasad Chaurasia, Pandit Nityanand Haldipur, to name just a few. Although she didn't perform publicly after she was 30 years of age, she lived till about 90, for 60 years she did not uh, play in public. <clears throat> she never had a commercial recording because she didn't want the glare of arc lights to intervene in her own musical journey, which was completely spiritual. Honours and accolades have come to her. The Sangeet Natak Academy Award, even the Padma Bhushan. But the Padma Bhushan friends had to be delivered home because she stayed away from the arc lights of Rashtrapati Bhavan. So such a person was Mahanapurna Devi. It is a matter of pride and privilege that we have taken to music as a healing tool for the negativity, for the, for, for, for the anxiousness that is in all of us during the, uh, this COVID-19 uh, uh, scourge that is uh, creating havoc across the world. We've taken to music to create this positive energy. 
and what better way than to do it through the Saroth festival in the memory of Ma Annapurna Devi. Friends, uh, we have two wonderful artists, very eminent Sarodhyas, one after the other. And at the outset, we shall welcome someone whose name in Bangla, in Bengali, means dawn. And the kind of music that he has been creating for many years now truly ushered in a new dawn in the world of music, at least in this part of the country. One of the very few exponents in Kolkata of the Shah Jahanpur Gharana on the Sarod is Pundit Pratush Banerjee. May I request Pundit Pratush Banerjee to come on stage, please. That is Pandit Pratush Banerjee. He shall garland the uh, portraits. May I request you to kindly wait there? And uh, may I also welcome Pandit Obhijit Banerjee as well. I would request both of them to kindly come over here on my right and garland the portrait of Ustad Alauddin Khan Saab. You can also go and pay your obeisance in front of the portrait of Ma Annapurna Devi. But prior to that, I will request Pandit Nityanand Haldipur and someone who played so beautifully yesterday, Pandit Partho Sharuthi, to come up and garland the portrait of Ma Annapurna Devi. And may I request both of you to accompany them as well and pay your tributes at the portrait of Ma Annapurna Devi. I think both of you can be on both the sides and uh, lend a hand in garlanding the portrait of Ma Annapurna. I request you to take your, take your place in the... As I said, uh, Pratush Banerjee, Brother Pundit Pratush Banerjee is a musician of very rare caliber. His parents were great connoisseurs of music and he was exposed to the very best, listening and watching the great Ustads and Pandits coming home. And uh, he grew up with music all around him. He was initiated into Saroth by Pundit Shamarindranath Shikdar, who was an eminent disciple of Pundit Radhika Mohan Moitro. After a few years of initial training, he started learning and accepted him as his guru for life, none other than the Sarod Maestro Pundit Buddhadev Dashgupto. Pundit Pratush Banerjee brings into his music not only the high and rich tradition of his gharana, but he combines distinctive elements 
of vocal and other instrumental music of North India. His playing represents technique and style, which are both very, very unique to Pratush. He was one of the very first, he was an experimenter. He was one of the very first to successfully reproduce the toppa style of singing into playing the Sarot. In fact, he has produced the first electronic version of the instrument he plays so well, which he has named as Jyoti Dhwani. In addition to his training, under Pundit Puthadev Dashgupta, he also studied vocal music, tabla and piano as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, Pandit Pratush Banerjee, because of his all-round grooming and training, is amongst the, possibly, the foremost choice of anyone who is not a singer or a musician, but wants to use and imbibe music into their art. They come to Pratush Banerjee to create music for them. And that is the completeness of this great artist. A big hand for Pandit Pratush Banerjee. Who does not know Pandit Ovijit Banerjee? What a, what a wholesome training has got, gone into the success and performance of Pandit Ovijit Banerjee. He started learning tabla from Tushar Kanti Khosh and later from Pandit Manik Pal. He is possibly, in his generation, the only one to learn from Pundit Gan Prakash Ghosh, Padma Bhushan Acharya, late Gan Prakash Ghosh, a doin of teachers. He's a teacher of the teachers. He'd also learn vocal from Pundit Ajay Chakraborty and uh, violin from Bidushi Shishir Konad Harchodhuri, who passed away a few days ago. And those of you who didn't know, he has also been a disciple of Guru Ma Annapurna Devi herself. So here we have another disciple of Guru Ma Annapurna Devi. He has experimented as well. He has a touring ensemble called Tarang. He is a member of the Raga Jazz Group, Aruhi Ensemble. He has founded the Dhoni, the Dhvani Academy of Percussion Music in the United States, and uh, both in India and in LA. In fact, and he has a very busy concert schedule and has performed across the globe. Pandit Ovijit Banerjee. May I request uh, the managing trustee of the foundation, Pandit Nityanand Haldipur, to come to the stage and greet the artist, please. Pandit Nityanand Haldipur, managing trustee, an ardent disciple of Mahanapurna Devi, and working tirelessly to perpetuate the memory of his legendary guru. Ladies and gentlemen, Pandit Prithush Banerjee in concert with Pandit Ubijit Banerjee. Namaskar, good evening, and my pranams to all the senior members in the audience. This is indeed a momentous occasion, the first ever Sarod festival in Kolkata. And I feel hugely honored to be a part of it. I'm truly grateful to Pandit Nityanandji for inviting me to perform tonight. 
I am also very happy to see this festival in Kolkata because Kolkata and other parts of Bengal have had a long history of hosting some great Sarod maestros, Sarod gurus, Sarod disciples, and last but not the least, Sarod makers. So I feel this festival is a true tribute to the city. I am really missing my Guruji today, who always had this idea of doing such a Sarod festival, but it was not to be so during his lifetime, but I'm sure he's showering upon us all his good wishes and blessings. I would also thank Pandit Tejendra Narayanji for his all-round support for this festival. I am thankful to Obhijitda for being here with me today. And finally, I thank all of you to be present here and for witnessing this festival. I begin my recital with Rag Puriya Dhanashri, Alab Jor Jhala, and a composition set to 11 beats. Thank you. Namaskar. Since I had the privilege of learning from Ma Nupurna Devi, this is a great opportunity for me to perform the first festival which Nitanandji has initiated in Kolkata. I thank him and I'm grateful to him for inviting me and also I thank my brother Pratush Banerji for accepting me as his co-artist. This is an opportunity for me to pay my tribute. Namaskar. Thank you. 
हमीर बजट
Bare trøjen. Hvor er det sikkert, de er.